In part 1 of Beginning Rhino with emphasis on creating a ring bend, we talked about how to use the command extrude curve and the command pipe to create a ring bend. And for this part 2, let's focus on combining the, the pipe command with other commands to create ring bend. So let's start with what we have already talked about. I am creating an inner circle that represents the inside of my ring bend. And I'm doing a US site 6, which we have already looked up. It has a circum circumference of 51.87 millimeter. So I'm going to hit enter. And now I have created this circle that represents the inner circle of my ring bend. And we have already talked about how we need to offset um, because of the radius that we are going to assign for our pipe. I'm thinking about doing a pipe with a radius of one millimeter. So I'm going to set my offset to be a distance of one millimeter. And then I'm going to go ahead and click to the exterior of my pre-made inner circle. And now I'm going to go through what we have already talked about in part one. Let's create a radius one pipe. And what we have also talked about is how we can assign different radius for different points. Let's create, let's do 0.8 for this point and do a radius one again here and then hit return. Okay, so this is what we have talked about. And if we look at the perspective view, let me rotate this. We have created a ring bend, which is not exactly a continuous circle. It have a narrower or thinner diameter or radius of the pipe right here when I'm circling with my touchpad or mouse. And there are some very easy um, adjustments that we can make to this model. And to begin with, what we can do is we can do copy and paste. So command C, then command V. If we notice on the lower left corner, it says command paste. So I have success, successfully pasted my current model. So now if I use my gumball track to move my pasted copy, a little bit lower so that the two um, pipe, the two pipes are still intersecting each other. And now I'm able to create something that is a little different than a singular piped shape for my ring bend. And now we can um, Boolean union them together and you can keep layering the same form or some different form on top of your current model. So that is one way to make your ring bend a little bit more abstracted from just a piped um, object. Something else that we can do is to take advantage of this gumball track. If we look at this arch or this curve, I can actually rotate my model easily by dragging these arch. And now if I were to Boolean union these two pipes together, I'm going to use this icon. And you can see I have successfully Boolean unioned. And now they are a single closed poly surface. And this is some very easy approach that we can immediately alter the look of a very straightforward um, piped shape. And I can continue to layer or alter the look of this even more using the same idea or strategy. Strategy. Let me undo Boolean Union and undo Paste. Okay, something else that I want to talk about that we can use to easily alter or um, further the design process of this form will be 
to use the array polar command. Um, to begin with, I need to create a form first to array polar. We have already talked about how to create a sphere in the um, beginning Rhino Serials um, series of tutorials. So I am going to put a point, have the center of my sphere be this point, and let's do a diameter of, let's say, 4 millimeter. Hit enter. And now I'm actually going to use my gumball track to pull this a little outward. Maybe a little more. Okay, so now let's type in array polar. Let me close this menu. Hit enter when done. And it's prompted to, to select the objects to array, which is the sphere that I just created. Press enter when done. And the center, since I'm working on my origin point, and this is also the benefit of working on your x, y axis with the origin point being your center, since I can just select zero to be my center of polar array now. And let's start with 12 and see. And I'm gonna want it to fill in 360 degree. You can try 180, 90, or anything that you prefer. I'm, I'm going to hit return now. And now, if you feel like you kind of want more item or less, you can adjust it right now. Let's say 16 to make it a little bit more different or you can continue to alter it until you are happy with the result. I want it to be overlapping a little bit. Now that I'm happy with what it looks like right now, you can go ahead and hit return. And now I used this array polar command to create some um, different design around my ring band. And now we can go ahead and boolean union everything together but you can also work with the subtraction process. Let's try Boolean difference. So I want to subtract from my pipe. So press return when you are done. And I want to subtract with all these spheres. I'm actually going to do um, just a section of this. So let's say I'm happy with what it looks like right now. So press return when you are done. And let me go ahead and delete um, these spheres. Or you can have the delete input box checked when you are using the Boolean difference command. So now you can see I created some textual element by using the subtraction process, which is the boolean difference command, using these array polar spheres that I created. So now that my ring band is a little bit altered so that it's less looking like a straightforward piped shape. And now what you can do easily with this gumball track that we have already talked about in the beginning series of tutorials is that I can alter the look of my spheres easily. Let's say I want this to be shorter and I want this to be shorter and I want this dimension to be longer and you can go ahead and pull in everything together and now I have something that is much more different than a piped ring band and now we can even think about how we can layer we can copy and paste this form and layer them on top of each other or rotate one among the one, the two or several copied 
and paste it shape so that it's going to get more and more abstracted and interesting. And that will be all for um, how we can use the pipe command in combination of the array polar command to create some simple ring band.